In this video, I'm going to talk about home manage and images. And uh, first of all, let me tell you about a feature. I'm sure it's, I believe it's described somewhere in the manual, but not everybody reads the entire manual, obviously. So, uh, and that is, uh, let's say you've got, you've uh, saved a couple of images. I've got two images of a Dyson V6 vacuum cleaner here. And let's say you want to create a asset using the images. What you can do is just select both images. I've got down my control key, so I've selected both images. And then you just drag them into this list view here. Obviously, it's going to use the list view of the currently selected object. So in this case, it would be the Montreal condo. And once you've done that, as you can see here, uh, a blank asset is created with those two images already attached to it so just I'll just type in the details and um, so there you go that's all you got to do to create an asset with uh, starting out with images and this is great obviously if you've taken a lot of images uh, taken a lot of pictures with your uh, cell phone and you have them uh, on your hard drive somewhere in various folders. So I'll click OK and there's the asset right there. Now secondly, uh, we, this question keeps coming up and that is um, a user will delete an item and but even after deleting it, images for that item have not been deleted. There's a very simple explanation for that. Uh, let's take this one we just created here, asset. It's home manage ID number 13 and we'll remember that later. If I go to file Go to my images folder you'll see here that the program has created four files it's created asset 13 first image which is the full size asset 13 uh, second image which is the second image and then, and then it creates two little thumb files and that's to make it easier uh, to load if you if you're attaching really large images to an asset the program has to squeeze them to show show them in this list view here show show them in the images column so we just create a thumb a little thumb file uh, which makes it much faster to load the uh, images for the uh, list list display you see here so okay so let me go ahead and come back here and I'm going to delete this item now after deleting that item, you will see it in the deleted items folder. And if you want to restore the item, you can just drag it back into one of the collections. I'm sorry, locations, location folders. Um, but it still has damage. Now, if I go back to the images folder again, you'll see here that the, the uh, images files have still not been deleted. What I have to do is select actions empty deleted items folder and once I've done that now going back to the images folder you see that these uh, the files that were previously previously there have been deleted and when you think about it this makes sense because um, let's say at the stage where the item is still in the deleted items folder if you want to restore it um, you obviously want the images restored as well and so if we delete those uh, you will no longer be able to do that so uh, like I said, the key is actions, empty deleted items folder, and obviously be sure your all items you in this folder you truly, truly want to be deleted. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.